So here we discussed just a rough idea, but the approximation procedure uh, that we will now formalize, formalize the approximation procedure. So we first subdivide the interval AB, which is the interval 0, 4, in n equal length intervals. Uh, so the length of such an interval is delta x, which equals b minus a divided by n. And from each such interval we sample a point. Yeah, so we have the intervals x0, x1 and x0 equals a. And a typical interval, the ith interval is then given by xi minus 1, xi, etc. And the final interval is then xn minus 1, xn and xn equals b. Yeah, from these intervals, so from each such interval, I, the ith interval xi minus 1 xi, we sample a point. What does it mean? We just choose, we pick a number xi star from which we evaluate the function value. So in the picture that we've seen before we have a typical interval xi minus 1 xi and we chose the right endpoint or xi star equals xi. Yeah, so this is also called the sampling procedure where we pick right endpoints. Yeah, so this is a way to arrive at the rectangles and from which we calculate the area. Uh, we could also have chosen the left end points. So in the right end, the, the right figure, you see that we've chosen as a sample value xi star equals xi minus 1, from which we get the function value in the left end points. So since this is a decreasing function, we see that the left end point estimates are always above the graph. And now we calculate the area. So the blue area is simply the length of the interval, or delta x, times the xi star, the point that we sampled. In this case it was the right end point, and on the right figure we chosen, we've chosen the left end point. So, but again we get an fxi star, so the sampled point times delta x equals the blue area. But in this case it's fxi minus 1 being the left point of the interval xi minus 1 xi and on the left hand side we see fxi times delta x. And now if we sum over all these blue areas, all these rectangles, we get an estimate of the area that we want to find. So it should be clear how we can approximate the area enclosed by a graph. And uh, so here we see two figures in, and, uh, in which we use the right endpoint sampling method. And uh, we see that by refining the procedure we get yeah, from n is 14 on the left hand side and right hand side we have 28 rectangles that uh, by refining we closing in on something that we would like to call the area and in the below figures we see the right we choose the left end point so we get an overestimate so to say of the area enclosed by the graph on the left hand side we see n is 14 and on the right hand side we have 50 uh, 50 rectangles so now the question is can we can we be sure that this approximation will give us an approximate answer to the question what is actually the area enclosed by the graph. So can we speak of convergence of this procedure? Well, this is something that we will discuss in the next clip.